Alrighty. Time to get started on this assembly. So this assembly is for Dale Mitchell, dude up the coast. He um he bought like a 81 or 82 shovel, obviously fucking swing arm bike, and it was obviously pretty fucking average, not much of a chopper. Had some dodgy shit going on, so Dale hit me up, wanted to um, do a bit more of a chopper, wanted to do a rigid, wanted, he's got a big springer to go on this, so it's make, basically make a proper chopper out of this thing. So he bought, this is just a V-twin, well gone hardtail, um, they're pretty fucking average, so if you're getting one, you're probably going to have to fucking change some stuff which I had to do with this, so V-twin, well on obviously standard front section I fucking narrowed it a bit through the heads just to make it a bit fucking small, a bit tighter in there make it look a bit better um, other than that, I'm going to go through and assemble this bike from how you see it to running, riding, fucking bike done, dusted, so I'm going to try and skip out the really annoying bits of putting a bike together like all the fucking bolts and holy fuck that's loud fuck off tough cuts truck next door um, I'm going to get it through the whole lot try and fucking cut out the annoying bits like I said all the bolts and fucking buying this and buying that and so just try and show you the fucking interesting bits watch this thing go together I'll show you how to wire it up I'll show you all that sort of bullshit but I'll show you the fucking tins on this thing they're pretty sweet so um, I've been lucky with the last few bikes to fucking, they've gotten some pretty sweet paint on them, so this is his fucking tank, you know, it's probably way too cool for him, but I'm sure he'll sell it at some point, so someone can actually, someone tough, unlike him, can actually own this bike, so I'm just gonna go through, do as much as I can, show you the bits and bobs, I've got to do fucking um, controls and shit, because He's fucking retarded and just bought heaps of crap and now I'm going to fucking make it work. So you'll see me make foot pegs, I'm going to make bits of controls off generator shovels and stuff work on this. Um, and yeah, just generally put this thing together, show you some fucking hiccups, show you what actually happens when you put one of these fucking stupid things together. Righto, so I'm going to fucking just get started really. I need to fucking have the... Um, gearbox in this thing before I can put the oil bag in. So, gearbox I prepared earlier. I might fucking change the camera angle so you can fucking see a bit better, eh? That'd be fucking ideal. Alright, sweet. So now you won't have to just look at my fucking ugly mug, but <clears throat> I'm obviously going to fucking get in the way now, which I fucking always do. So, most annoying thing about fresh paint. It's obviously not fucking scratching it. So, you're probably going to see me scratch Dale's bike here and there, but we're just going to not tell him, alright? Just don't say a fucking word to him. So, I haven't got any of this engine or nothing bolts in either. I might just fucking steal a couple of bolts I've got laying around so I can work out some bolt sizes and shit. But, for the time being, there's enough shit going on here that I can do a bit of fucking around because Dale's been fucking winching to me big time can be fucking fun sometimes lining these bolts up there it is alright so that's about where the engine will live like I said I'm going to steal some more bolts those guys are pretty tight I've got some other ones um, you probably notice fucking <coughs> just shovel heads around the, the place and all different fucking um, all different stages. I'll be getting through all these. You'll see them all in in videos at some point. So if you're interested, just let me know what you want to see. Um, like I said, I'm gonna do a um, I've got a video coming up. I want to do a complete frame from scratch with a Evo in it with a ratchet top and stuff so that'll be a that'll be my fucking long haul bike for a bit and then I'm gonna sell it so right let's fucking um have a look at the oil bag now eh let's 
fucking, it's pretty sweet. This is an old bag I had sitting around for fucking years. And then Dale's like, oh, you fucking got an oil bag. So this is it. He got, Dale got the paint done by someone, not exactly know who, but turned out pretty fucking sweet. So, um, I'm trying to remember how the fuck this bike's got to go together. It's got to go together in a certain way, otherwise it doesn't fucking work. So, why do you be really guard first so the oil bag can, oh, ah, oh, fuck it. I'm just going to fucking put the oil bag straight in. So, let's get me a trusty bolt bucket. So, this is probably bits that I'm going to edit out because who the fuck wants to watch me put the bolts? So, you guys just fucking sit tight. I'll fucking rummage through this to find bolts. I'm going to have to go through and fucking put proper ones in, but for now, these all fucking do. So, I'm going to try and do this so that I'm not in your way. I'm not scratching anything. Oh, not that way. You gotta fucking remember how this goes together. I think it goes together this way. Yeah, boy. Oh. Right, I'll just start these bolts. So I had to fucking modify the fuck out of this oil bag to, to follow the radius of the frame. So that's one thing that really shits me. You'll see when I bolt it up, if this doesn't, if that's not a nice gap through there, it really fucking shits me. So, I did modify this, so it should come up pretty nicely. So, let's put this in, and then I'm going to put the rear guard in. I'll show you that. That looks pretty fucking snazzy too, actually. This bike, like I said, this bike's going to be way too fucking cool for Dale. So, hopefully he sells it to someone. So, <clears throat> here's a fucking rear guard. Which is pretty fucking sweet. Um, only fucking issue is that this is where the seat's gonna sit. So you won't see any of that paint. You'll see like these last little tail out bits. So probably could have organized that a bit better, but here we are. We'll see how it looks when the seat's done. So this guy just fucking sits merry up in there. That holds onto that. So without fucking scratching this, I need to get some stuff out of his box. Once again, hopefully I'll just edit all this crap out. Where the fuck is that? There it is. I don't want them. Fuck another one. Fuck you. I'm going to give, these are just some little mounts that I made for the, um, for the old rear guard. I'm going to give them a quick little spruce up on the polisher. You guys just talk amongst yourselves. I'm going to spruce this up. I suppose you guys will probably watch this. I just got me trusty little fucking polisher over here. I'm just polishing anything like this. It's always good to fucking do on one of these frames when you're putting something together. These are just the rear guard mounts. So just fucking chuck them through your humble old fucking polisher here. Okay. So all these little bits and bobs are making a huge difference. Ow, that's hot. Done. See that? Fucks your fingers. Polish your stuff. How good. Alright, back over here to this trusty little guy. Well, it looks pretty fucking sick with the old fucking... the old flame on there, eh? There's gonna be... it's got big upsweeps, this thing, too, so... It'll be interesting to see what that looks like. Alright, give me some more fucking bolts. Um, that one... Where 
don't be on shell. Alright, where the fuck? There's some more bolts, 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 bolts. There's so many fucking bolts. Like I said, you fucking go to the store so many fucking times when you put together one of these bikes. So, you'll be watching me. Holy fuck, that's annoying. Right, okay. Let's try this. So, the oil bag has bolts and oh, I'm going to try my hardest not to scratch Dale's bike, but don't tell him that. Be so fucking careful when you do this stuff. But if it's good paint, it takes a bit to scratch. So this is when you need a fucking another set of hands, which Dale said he'd come give me a hand, but he's a fucking rich ass plumber that probably doesn't get out of bed before 10 o'clock. So here I am, fucking struggling to do it myself. But I'm getting a did. So there's one. Let's put this other one in. Now I might be fucking filming this way too in depth and it might fucking change through the video depending on how boring I think it's getting. So just fucking hang in there. Fuck! Listen to my heavy breathing, sweating my fucking ring out, all that shit. Yeah, nice! How does that fucking look? Looks pretty fucking red hot. Like I said, too bad the fucking seat's gonna cover most of that flame. But, I suppose you get that on big jobs. Put this last bolt in down the bottom here. And that's the fucking, the gist of it really. Oh wait, that looks fucking pretty red hot. Let's fucking, um, Set this up just to put the tank on. See what the initial looks like. Oh yeah, that looks pretty fucking sick. All right, let's fucking knock a tank on there. Just to see what the initial looks like. And then I'll probably fight us around doing my own stuff that you guys aren't gonna wanna watch. So you can fuck off. Let's fucking attach the tank. Oh yeah, that's sick. I forgot it hits the head. Need a little space here at the back there. It's alright. Come on, bro. That one. This one. Make a little space at the back here, no big deal. What does that fucking look like? It looks like a bit of fucking alright, doesn't it? Wow, we! Like I said, this thing's gonna be fucking way too cool for Dale. Um, where the fucking. I wonder if I just give you guys a quick look at the fucking. the upsweeps this piece of shit's gonna have on it. They're pretty fucking sweet. They probably won't fit in frame, but because they don't have the corners. But. just got heaps of this shit laying around. So this rear guy just fucking up there like that. Just pop him like that. Right, and where's the front guy? I'm gonna fucking get in the way. Oh, there's no fucking thing in the front, is there? Oh, there it is. Look at this. Fucking look at this. So that's fucking that. This thing should look pretty fucking sweet. Obviously that needs mountain shit, but you guys get the fucking idea. This thing will look pretty sweet. So like I said, it's got fucking enormous up sweeps and they fucking sit like fucking way out past the fucking rear wheel. So when I start getting this thing a bit more together, I'll fucking give you a look at that. But for the time being, this is probably as far as I'm gonna fucking show you, um, I'll do all the annoying fucking bits and bobs and just show you what I've done because no one wants to watch me fart ass around doing that shit. I'm gonna make a sissy bar as well. So you'll be able to um, 
watch me make a sissy bar for this thing, which should be pretty interesting. Um, I've got a really weird rear wheel on this. It's a fucking 18 inch front wheel that I've machined to be a rear wheel. So um, I'll fucking show you that quickly. You'll see how fucking weird this thing is. I'm just gonna dig it out. Here it is. So this is the rear wheel. Like I said, it's a fucking, it's actually a front wheel. So I've machined it. This side's not machined, but I machined the other side, the sprocket side to accept the sprocket. And this is actually a, like a front wheel, like I said, so it's a super narrow, super fucking narrow rear wheel. That's gonna suit this thing pretty well, I reckon. So I've got to make a weird sprocket up. A weird boss to offset the sprocket to line up with the gearbox, so I'll show you that as well. I usually get these things pretty pretty close to complete and then I'll put the front wheel on the front up front end and the rear wheel and post it up with all the brake and everything, but just like to get this sorted because it's easier to work on it when it's like this, you can see when stuff's more level and stuff. If it's on the wheels and stuff, you never know if it's fucking a bit on the piss, so. Right, I'll show you the important bits, but this is just more of an intro. This is what it's sort of going to look like at the end. It's going to have massive upsweeps, like I said. So it's got a mad early fucking extended springer on the front. It's got sweet dog bones and shit. So if you don't want to watch me put it together, go to the end and watch me fucking ride in this thing. It'll probably be a few part series just because there's going to be so much fucking shit in it. But if you're interested, fucking stay tuned, I suppose. Alright, I'm gonna do some stuff before Dale fucking has a whinge. Cash accounts. So let's fucking have a look at Dale's rear wheel. This rear wheel's a little bit special. This used to be a fucking front wheel. So I've machined the hub to accept the sprocket. So I machine this got this wheel in the lathe, machine the sprocket on there like that. And it's a 19 rear, so as you can see there. T19 if you want to fucking zoom you prick um, So this is a 19 inch wheel Usually very expensive to get one of these on the back of your bike, but this is like a fucking hundred dollar wheel that I've just machined the The uh, little spigot on with the with the holes to accept the sprocket, but I'm having issues with Obviously, it's really narrow. So the spacing this way is off. So I've got this little hunk of steel here I've got to space this guy out 30 mil. So that guy needs to be out there 30 mil. So I'm gonna make I'll, this little little boss here is the right size for that. I'm gonna machine that to go on there and it'll be 30 mil thick. So this will just, this guy will just bolt on the outside. So a little bit of fucking around, but ends up being a very cheap fucking way to put a 19 on the back of your bike. And it's fucking super narrow. Like you can see how narrow that thing is. So, I'll do a bit of machining, machine this up, drill some holes in it, and his rear wheel will be sorted. Alright, so I ended up just fucking machining this. This is it completed. So I've got a 30, 30 mil space um, ID. Obviously, it goes onto this spigot. Bolts go the whole way through. Um, and then your fucking sprocket. So that sits on there. And then your sprocket will go fucking boots like that. And then my wheel space up in there like that. So that's the fucking gist of it. So I just got to. Fuck around, I gotta cut some bolts to size, do all that shit. So, this is what it takes to put a fucking 18, 19, sorry, inch front wheel onto the back of your fucking bike. So, saving a bit of money, or Dale's just costing me a bit of time, one of the two, but it looks sweet. Um, and it really wasn't that much work. There's probably an hour making that, so that's not too bad.
So, fucking, I'll put this thing together, I'll bolt it all together, and we'll put it on the bike and see what it looks like. Alright, so I've got the wheel on. As you can see, the sprocket fucking lines up now. That's nice and straight between this sprocket and the gearbox. So, you can see the spacer in there. It's quite fucking significant, really, but you can see how fucking skinny the thing is, so it's what's got to be done. So it all fucking lines up, everything fits properly. Obviously I just need to modify the uh, axle a little bit to make that work, but other than that, that's one of the fucking big, the big jobs fucking ticked off. Now I've just got the CC bar to do. I've bent up the little bits already, so I'll get on and make a fucking CC bar next I reckon, now that that's all sorted. So, happy with that, slowly ticking jobs off, um, like I said, next you'll probably see me fucking around with a sissy bar, so, it'll probably just be little bits and pieces of the sissy bar though, I won't show you the whole fucking thing in depth, otherwise this video will get way too out of hand. Alright, alright, now on Dale's bike, I did this seat pan a while ago for this seat, obviously it takes a little while to get shit like this made, but this is the seat. I got made, just not something nice and simple, plenty of fucking padding because this bike's going to get fucking ridden and um, the way I made the seat, just got a couple little pins that lock in so you don't have any fucking bolts, nothing. So like the front little dick just goes into its little hole like that and then at the back here, it's got this little dick that's on an angle so when you push it into the hole just pops in and that's it done. So that's the seat, it doesn't fucking go anywhere. From side on it looks pretty good. It's pretty still pretty fucking low profile, but plenty of padding there. You want that padding there because this thing's gonna be an absolute prick to fucking ride if it doesn't have that padding. So that's one part of it done. Seat's usually pretty annoying, but like I said, I made the seat pan, made it clip in like that, and then sent it off before this bike was painted. So just got it back just in time. Looks pretty red hot. Um, the other thing I'm working on is the sissy bar. So this is sort of what I've bent up. A lot of people ask me the best way to do this. This is how I do it. So you just draw like a center line. And then you fucking come over and you, you like measure from here to where the fucking top guard is. And you can see I've even drawn the, the fender in there so I can work out all the heights and angles and stuff. I uh, just did a little fucking thing up here. It didn't actually turn out like that. But this is all it bent up. So you can see I fucking made this piece. That part, I just took that and bent this piece to fucking match that and then I knew it was right, and then I come onto the bench. Oh, you can see the center line up the bench. I've marked here, you probably just see it. I've marked the edge of the fucking axle plates. So you just line up that guy, put him back in there like that. Like I said, line this up. And then I've just got a little fucking doodad going on here, just a little something something. So this is how I would weld it together. I'm gonna clamp it down here and here and up there and fucking weld it together like this so it tries not to pull as much. So I've got this all bent like I said. When you bend it, it sort of gets a little couple little dings and stuff in it. So this is how I want it now. It's all bent, it's all where it's gonna go. I'm gonna go through and buff all this fucking section before I weld it together because it's gonna make life a lot easier to do this before. See, so like you can probably just see like all these little divots and stuff from bending it in the press. So I'll buff all them out so you don't see any of them. I'll fix all this stuff up and buff it all. Like I said, it's gonna be way easier to buff now in pieces than it will be together, all welded. So I'll buff all that up. You can come back. I'll fucking show you. I'll start welding this thing together. And then I'm gonna weld the little tabs on where the bolt goes through and then sit it on there. And then I pressed up, where is it? Here. I pressed up this little bit of steel that um, is going to be the guard support. So it's going to sit on there like that. As you can see, it fits pretty well. So I'm just going to do like a bolt here, like bolt here. And I'm going to cut it down, make it thinner, like the, make it the thickness of that fucking round bar. But that's that piece I've got. And then that'll just weld just there and there straight onto the, to the round bar. And then I've got a number plate that's going to number plate bracket that'll go there. So it'll all look pretty sweet when it's done. But 
For now, I'll start buffing this and getting this going and I'll show you it all done when I'm about to fucking weld it together. So a lot of people ask me what tool I use to polish all my stainless exhaust pipes and shit that I do. This is the guy. This is just like a fucking eBay special uh, tube sanding fucking sander or something it's called. And it's just literally like a four inch angle grinder with this polishing attachment. It comes with like a whole heap of fucking different grits. As you can see, I've fucking gone through a heap of them. So it goes from 60 grit all the way up to 600 grit. And that's how you polish stuff. You gotta start coarse and then slowly make your way down to a really fine one and then polish. So I've got this set up here. I'm gonna polish. You can probably just see the little little divots and shit on this from, um, from when I pressed it. So I'll just fucking give you a little demo. We'll fucking set this guy up, Johnny Sim style. And you just get your fucking doodad, it's probably gonna be a bit loud, but you just go through the bar. So there's just a quick little fucking demo. You can see I fucking really, that's a 400 grit. So I'll probably finish on a 600 and then I'll um, polish it. But you can see I was a bit of a rough cunt when I pressed it. It takes quite a couple ton to manipulate a bit of fucking 5.8 stainless like this. So I had quite a few little dints and fucking shit in it from the, the dyes in the press when I pressed it. So that'll just get it all out. And then I'll do, cause this is only mill finish. You can only buy this, this in mill finish. You can't buy it polished. So I'll go through the whole lot with that and then it'll finish and get rid of all that mill scale and it'll come up shiny as fuck. Alright, oh no, so I've put this guy through my little fucking linishing grinder and I've got it to 600 grit over the whole thing. That's usually enough and then you hit it with your little humble little buff and that'll make it less. I'm not sure if you can see it but it's come out a bit of a treat. So once you've got it to about that, you can just put it through your buff and it fucking does the rest for you. Have a fucking look here. Get a bit of fucking your old wax on there, you need that. So you can fucking see the difference. If I didn't fucking just dirty it up. You can see the difference already. She's gone fucking straight shiny. There's the fucking just normal, normal uh, sanding and then there's your uh, buffed part. So I'll go through and buff the whole thing like that and then I'll weld it together. Like I said, it's easier to buff it like this and make it nice and then just weld together and do the little bits and bobs than it is to try and buff the whole thing together. It's a pain in the ass. So this is the way to do it. All right, here's the, uh, the one on the left is all polished up. Obviously this guy is much nicer than this guy and this is just for a pet comparison. That's just mills, mill finish and then it's 600 grit polish. So. That uh, might not look like much on the camera, but in person, there's a huge difference. So I'll just go ahead and polish this guy up and then I'll fucking start welding together. All right, so I got both, both legs all polished up. Got the inner all polished up. I've just got it 
like fucking vice gripped one side. I've got this little guy that holds it center. As you can see, I've got the center line straight through the middle of it. I've got a little mark here so I know the outside or the inside of the axle plates there. And it's all dead in line there. So got me a trusty little TIG out. I'll fucking tack this in a position. I'm pretty happy with where all that is. So let's fucking dump him up here. You guys can have a fucking geezer. And I'll um, tack this bitch up real quick, I reckon. Oh. Let's have a look. This guy, DC, at 160. See what you got. Loves it. So when I want to tack it, I'll just make sure it's fucking staying where it should. It's probably a bit hot. Turn that bitch down. So I reckon I'll. Yeah, it's probably a bit. Moved a little. I'll tack it here, I reckon. Starting to lift a little. I just want to fucking put something heavy on that. What have I got? A bunch of fucking axle plates. Should be a job. Bunch of axle plates there I need to sell. If you're interested? For the time being, they are just holding these for me. So I'll probably flip this over the other way and do exactly the same thing, I reckon. Making sure all this stays in the right spot. That, got a bit of weight on it, so it pulls it down, keeps it all fucking symmetrical and flat. And then I've got a number plate, fucking plate to go on here, as well as the little guy that goes on the, um, on the rear guard. So I'll just tack this up first and then we'll do the rear guard stuff and number plate stuff, I reckon. All right, so I've got it flipped over now. I've got this guy on here because it had a bit of a fucking bit of a rise in it. So I use this guy as a clamp to sort of clamp him down. And we'll just weld these other couple. And I think we'll be fucking on here. I'm not sure how that's gonna look in the camera, but we'll fucking soon find out. fucking sort it. Sort of tossing up whether I should just weld that out or not. Looks pretty good like that, but. All right, so it's a couple days later. I got sidetracked with a couple of other fucking projects and God knows what. Here's the fucking sissy bar that I welded up on the, uh, the bench that you saw. So this bike was put together a bit differently. Usually I would put that on before it's all painted and stuff, but at the point that I had the bike all done, nothing was open because it was fucking Christmas and whatnot. So I had to go ahead and just do everything and get it painted and then do the sissy bar last. So because of that, you always want to put down some fucking tape so you don't fucking scratch the paint and stuff. And also when you're drilling the holes, because I got to drill holes in this, in this rear guard, all the fucking swarf that spins around your fucking drill bit won't scratch all the paint around it. So obviously I'll take the seat off when I do that. but. <clears throat> this is sort of how I did it. I made this this little guy, just a bit of stainless that matches the profile of the seat pretty nicely, of the uh, guard pretty nicely. So I just pressed that up in the press, but I'm thinking about making these little pieces and so you can buy them on my store. But this is just something I whipped up for the time being. So I'll put that on there, I'm on my round like that. And then I just sort of get the sissy bar and put her up there. I already worked out what angle I want this bitch at. So I'm gonna about, yeah, there's the sissy bar, all sits on there nicely. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill those holes for that little sissy bar mount and bolt that on and then put the sissy bar on and then tack it on and then do these mounts down here. So 
I only got fucking one air, two hands, so one's holding the camera, so I'm gonna fucking do that. And you'll come back when it's done, I reckon. Alrighty, so I fucking made this thing, I've bolted it on. As you can see, I've given it a good polish because it's gonna be fucked to try and polish this afterwards. So that's polished on there. I've ground the sides so that it all fits nicely. And I've made these little guys. So these little guys will go onto here, sorry, where the fucking sissy bar goes. So I've got one each side. I've just got some bolts there, just some ones I had laying around. I'll get some nice bolts later. So I'll bolt all this on. And then I'll put the sissy bar on and I'll show you tacking this fucking thing. All right, so I got those two little mounts bolted on. Got me earth on here, obviously. Got this all sorted out. So everything's pretty much where I want it. Now I've just got to fucking juggle this and um, tack it on here. I've got me welder all set up. So I'm going to line this up pretty roughly. Make this the same both sides. And then I'm just gonna come in and tack it real quick. Grab me fucking little guy. Just like that. All tacked and then I'll do the same the other side I reckon. Oops, sorry. Make this the same this side without fucking dropping anything. Alrighty, now I just tack the top and we'll call it done. Over there. I'm probably gonna need filler for this. Let's see if I can get a filler going at the same time. Alright, I'll hold it with my head, I reckon. Mm -hmm. There we go. There you have it. So I'll just fucking weld this out and we'll, we'll be done. So here's the sissy bar that I did. The last time you saw it, I was just tacking it up, but I just got a bit carried away and I just fucking went and finished it. Well, not finished, but it's majority done. Um, these are the little guys that I welded on the bottom and I've polished him out. As you can see, a bit of time and polishing there, but this is basically the sissy bar all done. The only thing left will be some, some mounts for the exhaust and shit like that, but that's basically how it's gonna look. Mirror finish the back of it. Looks nice. Nice little little mount for the uh, tail light there. It's pretty fucking good, I reckon. All right, so this here Dale's bike is pretty well. I've done a lot of it now. It's all assembled. It's all sissy bars. Fucking ninety percent done. Um, still a few things that I, I'll have to go through. Obviously I've got to mount the exhaust, I've got to do some mounts up here on the sissy bar for that, I've got to do foot controls, a couple of little bits and pieces, obviously wire it up and then test ride this thing, but I reckon that'll do it for part one, and then on the next part uh, you'll see me do all the exhaust, mount that, basically button everything up, um, wire the thing up, I'll show you how I do that, and yeah, I've got to do some fucking dog bone stuff for up here and a few other bits and pieces, but... That'll be on the next one. I'll take this thing for a ride and everything when it's done, show you it, fucking ride the wheels off it, and that'll be it. So, cheers.